everybody this is Bobby with Bobby Stamps and I'm going to show you um, the third card you've probably already seen it if you visited my blog but this is what the video is going to be about today is we're going to make card three in my October free card packet promotion I do these every month I post them on my blog and all you have to do to get the um, free card packets is use the hostess code that I have posted every month and um, use the hostess code when you submit an order online, if you spend $25, I'll send you one of the free packets. If you spend $35, you receive two free card packets. And if you spend $50, you'll receive three of the card packets. And I've already done a video. Um, I upload them to my blog and I upload them also to YouTube every month. Um, and card one is already done. Last week I did a Facebook Live and I put together card two. So tonight I'm going to, or today I'm going to do card three and show you how to put that together. Also talking about Facebook Live, I'm going to be doing those weekly now. It's going to be a weekly broadcast. I'll do them every Wednesday starting at 1.30. So try to make sure that you join us. We do tips and tricks. We have um, a giveaway. I do a drawing every week for, um, I usually have it, either you comment or share or, you know, send a smiley face, something like that. But I always tell you what the rules are. And I do, um, I leave it open for people that are at work or can't catch the live broadcast and they watch it on replay. You still can be entered. So all you have to do is um, visit my Facebook page. It's um, Bobby Stamps. And then you can visit my blog. And it's, uh, I've got a new one now, so I'm trying to remember the new address. The old one was a blog a blogger website, and this one is a .com. So it's just bobbystamps.com. You just put in the HTTPS, um, www.com, uh, bobbystamps.com. So I'll leave all the information. I'm sure I just uh, slaughtered that, email, that address, but I'll make sure that I leave everything below in the description. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That really helps and it really makes me feel good that people like it and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started on this card, guys. Hi, everybody. This is Bobby with Bobby Stamps, and I am going to show you how I made this cute card. Like I said in the, the beginning of the video, this is my third card for my October free card packets. Spend $25 in my online store and I'll send you one of my free card packets. Spend $35, I'll send you two. And if you spend $50, I will send you all three. So it's everything you need to make that card. I do not send stamped images. That is against Stampin' Up! policy. Um, so I cannot do that. The stamp set that I used is Mary Cafe and I used Old Olive ink and Soft Suede ink. Okay, then I also used, you don't get this, I'm not sending this, I just want to show you in case you want to reproduce it on your own. The Layered Leaves Dynamic Impressions folder was also used. So what happens is I'll send you a card pack like this in the mail. It will have all of the contents. Oops, I forgot I had this out, making sure I had everything and this was uh, inside there. So that's what you'll get. I'll send you everything already die cut. Um, I'm going to send the paper that you need to stamp the coffee and the belly band, the coffee cup and the belly band. And the reason um, that I didn't already cut them out was because you would have to stamp on them. And I was just kind of afraid that that might be a mess that, you know, I, I don't know if somebody's going to stamp right or not. So you will need the framelits in order to finish this card. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. So our card base that I used is the um, pumpkin pie. Grab my phone folder. Just give that a crease while we're there. This is old olive and this is cut at um, four by five and a quarter. And then I used the embossing folder like I just said. And I'm just gonna use the fast fuse really quick and we'll just go ahead and adhere this down to the base and then we can just move that out of the way. I'm going to bring in soft suede and I've already got on the block the coffee cup so we'll just ink that up 
and then just stamp that down. You want to make sure that you stamp towards the bottom, but you also are leaving enough room for your framelit to fit around. If you stamp all the way down at the bottom, your framelit's not going to fit around there, and then you're going to have to recut it again or restamp it again. Okay, stamp the lid, and I always make sure that I send enough cardstock. Okay, and then you're going to pull out the little piece that I sent you for the belly band. And we'll go ahead and ink up the sentiment Hello Fall and Pumpkin Spice Latte Season. And then you're just going to stamp that right in the middle. Okay. Close up that for right now. And I've got to make room for the big shot. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me just kind of rearrange everything really quick. Whoops. Okay. And I'm going to back out so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me move this forward a little bit. Okay, so I have my magnetic plate and one of the, the cutting plates. And I'm just going to put the coffee cup. I think that's what those are called anyway. They're the, the little plastic boards that we have. I'm pretty sure they're called cutting, cutting plates, plastic plates, plastic boards, something something like that and then we're gonna put this there and then I'm just gonna you know look and pay attention to what I'm doing when I put that on there and make sure that I have the belly band you could even kind of do something similar to that to just kind of make sure that you have it centered and then we're gonna oh I think I shifted I'm setting down trying to do this and the big shot is a little bit further away from me right now than what it normally is. So I'm just gonna, in mid crank, move it closer to me. I wanted to make sure you guys could see how I was setting that up. Okay, move this out of the way. And we'll just grab all of our pieces off there. And put that back over there, okay? Let's move all of our pieces. I do have to tell you guys too, I lost one of my um, framelits when I was designing my pick a pumpkin class. I never could understand how people would say that they lost one of theirs um, in their craft room or whatever because I really try. If you guys watch my videos you know I try to put everything back and keep everything together but I did it. I lost the little pumpkin the one that has like the little stars on it. Yeah I lost that. I don't know where it's at so I'm hoping it turns up. I'm not going to take my garbage out until I have really, really checked that. Okay, so now that we have the coffee cup, let me look. We're going to stamp the little vines on there. Okay. So this one is the one I'm pulling off now is, and you can see in here, this it's this one, the one that gives you the more detailed um or no that's not the one i want i want the outside first so we're just going to ink that up in the soft suede and then i just kind of put one going that way and then turned it and you can leave a little bit of a space and i'm sorry if my head's in the shot so we're and then we're just going to do it again but i need to get my scrap piece of paper right here because I don't want to get it on my table so then we'll do one down towards the bottom and you know like I said you stamp off just a little bit okay like that and then let me just put that back you know what actually I'm gonna leave it on there move this out of the way and bring in our, your square because that's gonna be the next thing and then we're just going to randomly on here put these. And on this one, I, I chose not to stamp off just because, I don't know, I just thought it would look better if I didn't. So I didn't. And then just make sure you're turning so you're not going in the same direction. And then I'm going to take that one off. And then we'll get the one that has more of the like filler image and I'm going to bring this back in because we just stamped this one all in soft suede and let me just see it's really hard for me to see and I know that I get my head 
in the camera view when I lean in like this, but I got to get it somewhat close. Okay, so the coffee cup is done. Now let's clean that off from the soft suede ink and grab the old olive. And we're just gonna fill this in now with old olive. So you just match it up and you guys will do a much better job because I'm, like I just said, I'm leaning over. I'm trying to make sure you guys can still see. And I've got a bright light over so that way it makes the video look better for you guys. So I've got a lot going on. Excuse me if I stamp out of the lines. That's not my intention at all. Okay. So just go randomly around. Okay. Now, let me fold this up and kind of get everything out of my way where I can tell what I'm doing again. Okay, now we can go ahead and grab our snail I can get mine out of its holder and then just put a little strip right on the lid oops and then just put your lid on your cup like that we're gonna put a little bit on the back of the belly band put it right in the center of the cup okay then we're going to get our little bits out of here and you would have received two of the brown the soft suede and two of the old olive and then the pumpkin and then how i did this was i just kind of played around with this kind of like that and then you can kind of kind of see where you're going to want everything to go kind of something like that okay so the best thing to do is just put snail along that side and then I'm gonna put one right about here and then maybe layer one well I don't want the two brown so I want to make sure that I get the, the old olive one in the middle and if I can use my fingertips, I'll pick up this third one, and I'm just probably going to make that one be like a little, little shorty right there. Make sure there's enough. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put some, some more on here just to make sure that that pumpkin has something to grab a hold of. And you can layer the pumpkin behind or in front of. And I think I should have put my pumpkin on first and I forgot to do that whoops we don't want to mess that up so let's see how it's going to look if we just kind of it's not going to look good how about we try that and see if we have enough room and I'm going to leave it like that so make sure that you put your pumpkin on first don't just do like I just did guys so there's enough there and it grabbed a hold of the, the snail did. So make sure that if you want your pumpkin like this in the card that you put it on first. I thought I was going to have enough room where I could do it down here and still have it like coming like, like it was first and it just didn't work out. But I am going to move it down like that because I do like that better. And then I'm just going to put some snail back here. And then you could use your fine tip glue pen, and I actually think I'm going to because I want mine to lay down a little bit better than what it will if we don't have that on there. Let me grab mine. Okay. And it doesn't, it's not going to take a lot of this at all. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead while I have this out. It's kind of hard to put snail on these because the, the little tiny things. And then you always want to make sure that you cover, uh, close your fine tip glue pen back immediately after you're done because it will dry out. Okay. And then we're just going to place this kind of 
like you don't want to do it straight I put mine off to the side and that looks good I mean it still looks really good even with the pumpkin the way that I did it and then I'm gonna grab dimensionals I'm gonna put four in each corner like that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one and put there and one in the middle just to make sure I have enough on there to give it that dimension it's gonna need and you guys can visit my blog I have a new blog a new website I'm so excited about it it looks so pretty I just love it so and then we're gonna turn it like this and then just put that right there in the center how cute okay there you go guys this is card three on my October free card packets visit my blog for all the details and thanks so much for stopping by